Cataractcoach.com. I will punch for suture fixation. This is a new tool. So here's a patient with a dislocated single piece acrylic lens. And you can see that whole lens and the haptic is the anterior chamber. So how do you preserve that same lens? Here's the tool designed by Morgan Micheletti from Houston, Texas. And you can see it's a punch that allows you to punch a hole in the haptic optic junction of a single piece acrylic lens. Let's watch it in motion. Here's a patient who has that dislocated lens. You can see that one haptic is already above the iris. And so incisions being made here, going inside the eye, and there's that eye well punch. And you can go right at the haptic optic junction and create a hole here. Now this may be better than just poking a hole because you're actually removing a core of the acrylic lens material. So it's a very nice, round, strong hole with no weak edges. And that can be pulled out of the eye. And there you can see there's the hole that's made right there in that haptic optic junction. Now, how do you secure the lens? Well, we've seen this technique before. There's the discarded piece of acrylic material. We can go inside the eye here with a 5.0 or 6.0 proline suture, pass it through that hole that we just created at the haptic optic junction and using a needle on the other side 27 gauge needle or maybe even 30 gauge needle depending on your suture type to bring that suture out of the eye here and then you can see that's a very successful technique here now you can use this type of cautery to melt the end to create a little bit of a stop there this is very similar to the yamane technique and then we can bring that whole IOL back down into position. And then you can adjust the final centration. This patient has a multifocal lens, so you can pull on that um, suture to create the final resting position there. A little bit of cauter in the other end to create, again, a bulbous tip. And that can be placed in the eye. Now, anterior vitrectomy is done as well to clean up any prolapse vitreous. That is an important part of this procedure. You don't want to entrap any vitreous into all the maneuvers that you're doing here. And this patient's going to have a beautiful result. So a very simple and less traumatic way of addressing this type of complication. You can see there's a suture at the end to close the incision. And the lens is beautifully centered. Again, the prolapse vitreous is also cleaned up with a bimanual anterior vitrectomy. And now the central rings of that multifocal lens are beautifully centered in the pupil. So this is a new instrument. I haven't seen anything like this before. And I applaud Dr. Micheletti for designing this. And he says it'll be commercially available at some point in the very near future. So if you have a case like this, perhaps the punch technique using a special instrument is an appropriate method to salvage the existing lens. Here's the post-op figure, and you can see very nice centration. Thank you for submitting your video. I liked it. Thanks for watching these videos, and remember to go to cataractcoach.com and sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you an email every day with a great video like this and other surgical pearls that'll make you a better surgeon.